Since taking office last week, U.S. President Joe Biden has been taking a wrecking ball to Donald Trump's agenda. On climate change, for example, of which Trump was a major skeptic, Biden reinstated the U.S. in the Paris Climate Accord and ordered the establishment of a variety of environmental protections. He also put one of his most trusted lieutenants, John Kerry, at the wheel of America's climate change effort. The world knows how serious I am about one of America's, by appointing one of America's most distinguished statesmen and one of my closest friends speaking for America on one of the most pressing threats of our time. Biden spoke with a number of world leaders, including Russia's Vladimir Putin, looking to find more common ground on important international issues. Just days before it was due to expire, they agreed in principle to extend a key nuclear arms treaty by five years. Negotiations had stalled under Trump, who had insisted on tougher inspections for Russia. During Trump's term, the U.S. also withdrew from another military agreement with Russia on intermediate-range nuclear forces. Biden also brought up with Putin the situation around the jailed Kremlin critic Alexei Navalny. A spokesperson said Biden spoke frankly on U.S.-Russia issues. Um, he has never held back as it relates to uh, President Putin or um, his concerns about um, the actions of, um, of Ru the Russian uh, government. Um, and he certainly conveyed that clearly during the call. The Biden administration has also signaled a new approach to its foreign policy in the Middle East. It says it will review massive arms deal with the UAE and Saudi Arabia, which were approved in Trump's final days and addressed the humanitarian crisis in Yemen, which has been left devastated by years of war and famine. It's also looking for better relations with Tehran and a possible return to the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, which the preceding administration withdrew the U.S. from in 2018. On immigration, the Biden administration is urging migrants trapped in Mexico under Trump-era restrictions to be patient even as refugee camps begin to swell with hopeful asylum seekers. The restrictions, officially known as migrant protection protocols, push tens of thousands of asylum seekers out of the U.S. and back into Mexico ahead of their court hearing. A senior aide to Biden said the government was working on a system to speed up the claims process. However, we'll have to wait for more information on that. Get some sleep this weekend. We'll have more to say next week on immigration. Wang Hao, CGTN.